Hello, my name is Whitney Wright and I'm Holly Randall's Bombshell of the Month. My first memory of Holly was when she shot me for my Twisties Treat of the Month shoot. And I remember that being one of the first really cool experiences of my career. Um, and Holly was great and, I, and she made me feel like really special and like I fell in love with the photos and everything. And she became one of my favorite photographers in the industry. And I think our most memorable, or my most memorable uh, shoot with her was probably the last one we did when we <laughs> had a scene uh, where she shot me with another female performer and there was a, uh, um, a large like birthday cake that I had to like smear all over myself when I ate it because no one showed up to my party so I was like <laughs> and I had to like smear it down my dress and somehow like I had to take off my birthday dress because that's what you do but <laughs> <laughs> Holly, I remember Holly's face just looking at me and being like, God, <laughs> like after it was all over my face and hair and chest. So that was really funny. <laughs> if I could do a scene with any celebrity, I would probably pick, I have two, I would probably pick Katy Perry because I really like her. And sometimes I get compared to her, only in certain looks. And Aubrey Plaza, because I get that too, only in certain looks. So those are my two that I like. Mmm, my biggest pet peeve. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, if I sat down, I could probably write a really long list, but the first one that always comes to mind is slow airport walkers. Like people who just will not move and you're just like, move. <laughs> so that's always me. And I'm always the one who is like, like power walking through. So I'm sure people see me walk by and they're like, okay, she's on a mission. Like, they probably get to the airport early though. If I were to star in a parody, it would be Mike and Dave need wedding dates. And I would play the character that Aubrey Plaza plays when they go to Hawaii. And if I didn't get that role, I would throw a fit. I am a Virgo and I feel like it's pretty true to who I am. I am a fixer upper of everyone's lives and have the perfect advice for all of them on how to like fix their relationships and home life and organize their entire house and schedule and everything. Um, and if they don't take it, it's always like, well, I tried to help you back there. The sign that I prefer, that I, I feel like I vibe with the most and can actually date that I'm currently dating is a Capricorn. Please do not let this video be the thing that curses it because I will look back on it and it will be here forever. But I will say that I cannot date a Pisces because they're too sensitive. 
and I can't date an Aries because they're too much of a know-it-all and that just doesn't work. I would choose, you know what? This is a hard one. And people who just choose right away haven't really thought it through. Because, you know, everyone's always like, well, I would want invisibility. Because, like, what if you could, like, go and then see what people say about you, but, and then, and then someone's like, yeah, but I don't think I'd want to know. And, and I'm like, you wouldn't want to know? What? Some people always say that and I'm like, what? Like, like if, like if that was like a, a thing or something, I'm like, I'd want to know. But yeah, invisibility is a good one. I would like show up all the time in places that I probably shouldn't be though. I would live in Italy, for sure. In the Amalfi Coast. I really, I went in like 2018, in August. My last real trip, I guess. And I really loved it. And I want to go back. And I was going to go back this year, but... No. The thing. The thing happened. My favorite part of the industry is all of the opportunities that I've gotten from it. Just like performing and getting to work with so many companies. Um, I love my agent. I love all the people I've gotten to work with. Um, I love that I like have gotten to direct and I get to direct and like the nominations that are coming up and that I have gotten and stuff. And I consider that to be really special. And um, and now that I've gotten to like a level where I can be on my own platforms. My least favorite part about it would be, mm, sometimes you run into people who can be a bit unprofessional and mean and not really like, I don't know, like see things the way that you see them and stuff and kind of butt heads, but I guess that happens. <laughs> every field, so that's it really though. Honesty, the way that they treat me and other people and their, their family, as long as their family treats them with that same respect. Important one. Um, <laughs> I, I think that um, like a willingness to always keep working on themselves is a, a big one. Um, because I, I feel like there's some people who like stay in the same place mentally for like 20, 30, 50 years, you know? And so I think like anyone who like, you know, just keeps on wanting to work on themselves, like I find that really admirable. And um, yeah, just uh, a sense of humor. Um, like if they wanna like, I wanna go do stuff with them. So yeah, just, just like, go on trips and have fun and everything and um, and yeah, quality time. Qualities that I find least attractive are 
gaslighting, nitpicking, um, when they have to debate everything. Um, what else? Oh, like, like lying about little things that don't even matter. People do that sometimes and it's like, why? That's weird. But anyways, uh, yeah, I would say those. Those are like my four, four ones that really are just like, hmm. Anyway, I'm Whitney Wright. You've just watched my interview. It's the end of the year. This is the bombshell of the interview <laughs> for the end of the year. And if I had to give you a little nugget of advice for the end of the year, I would say, you know, waste time and time wastes you. Um, and that's all I've got to say. And um, thank you and good night.